Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an E equation or an equation with Euler's number, which is about 2.7. I only memorize one digit after the decimal and that is 0.7. Okay, anyways, so we have this equation e to the power x plus e. You could also write this as e to the power x plus e to the power 1 equals e to the power x plus 1. Can we, can we just add the exponents? Like, is there a rule like a to the x plus a to the y equals a to the power x plus y? That would be nice. But this rule in general does not exist because this is a special case. Okay, so let's see how we can solve this problem. This problem is actually fairly easy to solve, but if you're new to you know, Euler's number, logarithms, and stuff like that, this is actually a good um, exercise. Okay, anyways, I just want to erase that one because it kind of bothers me. Uh-oh, okay, I, I have to stay with the eraser. So here's what we're going to do to solve this problem. First of all, e to the power x plus 1, even though we can't add the exponents in addition, we can do that in multiplication. So you, if you have a to the m times a to the n, it can be written as a to the power m plus n. And vice versa. If you have the exponents being added, you can break it down. You can split it up. So e to the power x plus 1 can be split up into e to the power x times e to the power 1, which you can write as just e which is Euler's number. Again, it's about 2.7. That's all I know. Okay. What are we going to do with this graph then? I mean the f equation. We get, okay, I'm just having some trouble with the eraser today. e to the x plus e equals e to the x times e. So it's really like a weird, eerie situation where we add two numbers and we multiply the same numbers and we get the same result. Is that even possible with numbers like... 2 and 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, that doesn't seem to work with numbers, but maybe you can uh, try to find some numerical solutions. Anyways, so let's go ahead and solve this problem. And also, at the end, I'm going to show you the numerical value approximately. Thanks, Drew. Thanks to Desmos. Anyways, I'm not being sponsored by Desmos for this video, by the way. I'm just, I just said it. I don't know why. Anyways, I talk too much, so I should stop. Let's go ahead and subtract e to the x from both sides, and we get the following. And then we can factor out e to the x. The idea, why do we bring these two together, the x terms? Because we want to be able to factor. So you want to put all the x's, all the variables on one side, in most cases, and then uh, try to put the numbers on the other side. And for that purpose, we're going to divide both sides by e minus 1. Whatever e is, just one less than that. And we're going to get this weird fraction, e over e minus 1. So if you want to estimate what this looks like, 2.7 divided by 1.7, well, you can use a calculator, right? Okay. So, but the idea is, okay, how do I solve this problem? I have an x in the exponent, so I should bring that down by using the super duper magical powers, which is called the natural log. So let's go ahead and natural log both sides, ln e to the x equals ln e over e minus 1. Awesome. And this is super duper magical power, brings the x to the front, and ln e is just log e with base e, which is 1 by definition. So this becomes x. In other words, ln e to the x is x. So x equals ln e over e minus 1. That is the answer. We were looking for x, and that's it. There's only one solution. Now, ln e over e minus 1 can also be written a little differently because using properties of logs, ln e is 1, remember. So we can also write it as 1 minus ln e minus 1. So there is basically two ways, or maybe more ways, I don't know, to write the answer. Let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical val value, and we're going to finish up with that. And the answer, the x value, is about 0 0.4586751453874. So on and so forth, because this is just an approximation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. I think it's tomorrow, right? And until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.